ambitious, persistent, determined, and innovative. These are all words which aptly describe Sashay Alexander. Growing up in Success Village Lavantil, Sashay says she always yearned for more. Realizing that education was her way up and out, she focused on her studies. Following her tenure at Bishop Anstey High School, she pursued degrees in international relations and Spanish at the University of West Indies Mona campus. In tonight's I'm Every Woman, Dion Batiste tells us about Sashay's journey from a little lavender girl with a dream to successful entrepreneur. First of four children, Sashay has always been an overachiever. Having lost her mother at age 10, she says she relied heavily on her father and three elder brothers for, well, everything. Because of them, she says she believed in her ability to accomplish anything she set her mind to. Sashay now teaches Spanish at our alma mater bishops. While a student there, she competed in the National School Soka Mona competition, making it to the finals in 2007, 2008, and 2009. She says her love for Caribbean people and culture is unparalleled. This, she says, is what inspired the birth of Naturally Caribbean. I I am probably obsessively <laughs> passionate about us as Caribbean people and how we look. I admire Caribbean women and men. Um, I think they're so unique and different from the rest of the world. And I feel so inspired when I walk down the streets and I see a woman who looks like she's half Chinese, half African. I can't tell which texture her hair really is, but her combination is so unique. Naturally Caribbean started as a blog where founder Sashay wrote about her struggles in finding suitable skin and hair care products. Dissatisfied with the offerings available on the market, she started to experiment, mixing ingredients, items she found in her kitchen to make a healthier, sometimes cheaper alternative. It was not long before she started receiving orders for these items she whipped together for herself. Um, only under a year. I started actually making it accessible to persons. I started very small where I'd just give out the butters, which was mainly for skin. And luckily, because of how it's combined and whipped together, it can be used in your hair as well. None of the ingredients that are mixed together mean that it can only be for your skin or it can only be for your hair. So I started with the butters and then I started expanding other things that I was experimenting with for myself. I'd sample, um, distribute, give out samples of our persons to give reviews and from then on, based on the demand, then I'd make it available for purchase. Sashay says, as she continued to make her products available to the public, naturally seemed to take on a life of its own. She says it's now more than just a brand, it's a movement. And I'm a person that I'd wake up and I'd feel passionate about something. And at one point I woke up and I felt like I needed to tell a story with naturally. And that's where I got the video series involved. And the video series has been up and running with. Now we have four strong episodes that comes out once a month. Um, so four months ago I did the first episode. So not just having products, but also having what I consider to be a movement with people that, like myself, are interested in utilizing all natural ingredients for the benefit of their hair and their skin. The range of naturally Caribbean products has grown and now includes body butters, face and body scrubs, lip gloss and oils. Sashay boasts that all her products are made with ingredients easily sourced right here in the Caribbean and are perfectly suited to our climate. Even though it's time consuming, Sashay says naturally is a labor of love. It's something that I kind of do second nature. It's the first thing I think about sometimes. It's sometimes it keeps me up at night because I have so many plans or I'm thinking, I wonder if I can mix this and this and what it would come out like. And I'd randomly get up and decide, okay, let me research. <laughs> let me see what this was the effects of this if I mix it with that. Sasha says she can claim success because she persevered regardless of the challenges she encountered along the way. She believes she is where she is today because she dared to dream. To little girls much like she was, she says if you want it, Plan it, proclaim it, push for it. Dion Batiste, C News.